Today we're talking about how to generate 900 or more seller leads for your real estate business. Doesn't matter if you're a real estate salesperson, if you're a real estate investor, if you own a brokerage, I'm gonna show you how you can get 900 plus seller leads based on my actual experience. Let's get into it. My name is Darren Cabral and I'm the CEO of Suit Social. We're a digital marketing agency that helps companies build their brand, generate more leads, and get more sales online. So let's talk real estate, let's talk leads for a second. When we talk about a seller lead, that is someone that is looking to sell their house, right? It is the bread and butter of anyone working in the real estate industry. You want a seller lead because a seller lead is almost guaranteed money. They're coming to you, you're listing their home, you sell it, you get paid. If you're an investor, you buy it, you make it nice, you sell it, and you get paid. So either way, seller leads are gonna be very, very valuable to your business. But how do you stand out from all the noise, all the agents, all the people competing for attention of sellers? You see bag signs on the way to work all the time. You see billboards. I see postcards dropped at doors in my mailbox. There's a lot of noise. How do you stand above that? What are the best strategies that you can use to get those seller leads? Well, I'm gonna share a little bit of insight. So besides running Suit Social, which is our digital marketing agency, I'm a little bit of a real estate investor on the side. My family's also involved in real estate investing. And one of our staples of how we run our business is we buy off-market properties from private sellers. So we have to generate a consistent stream of sellers that are willing to sell their house to us directly. How do we do that? So we've tested just about everything. Last year, we generated almost a thousand seller leads just from our marketing. This is cold brand new leads that have never seen us before that have come through and said, here's my name, here's my address, here's my number, I wanna sell my house. Almost a thousand of those. And we've done everything. So I can confidently tell you what's gonna work the best and how you can get a similar result. So here's the stuff we tried and then we'll go into what worked the best. Radio. We did a lot of radio early on. It is expensive. It is very hard to track. You don't really know if it's working or not until you've done it for six, seven, eight months and you ask people, did you hear our radio ad? And they say yes or no. And you try to compile that and figure out, is it a lot of people, is it not a lot of people? It is a tricky meeting. It definitely helps with branding. If you can get cheap radio ads, by all means. If you're trying to get leads quickly, not the best option. So let's put that aside for a second. The next thing we did a lot of was direct mail campaigns, okay? This is actually designing and printing mailers and getting that in specific targeted postal codes, okay? So if you're trying to get seller leads, there's a good chance you're looking in specific areas. Most agents, investors specialize in an area, a city. You know what your customer is. If you don't, definitely figure that out before you start investing in, in marketing, because you should know that. Once you figure that out, there are direct mail services. Canada Post actually facilitates this if you're Canadian. Uh, USPS will do it as well in the States. And there's a lot of third-party companies that can help you do this. You can run targeted direct mail based on demographics. So if you wanna hit a certain income level, if you wanna hit a certain kind of person or a certain area, you can actually type in and basically punch in certain demographics, print out a bunch of mail, and get it sent just to those homes or just those areas you're interested in. We did a lot of that. Pros and cons. Did that help us generate those thousand leads? Sort of. Direct mail is something that you have to do a lot of. You cannot send out one piece of mail and get a response. It takes not two, not three, not four, not five. It's six, seven, eight, nine times before you actually start getting people picking up the phone and taking action. Why? They get a lot of them. I used to get mailers from agents, from investors, maybe six, seven, eight different ones a week, every week. It is saturated because every real estate course in the world teaches you this. So do I love it anymore? No. Did it contribute much to our thousand leads last year? No, it didn't. So let's move on to the next category, and one of my favorites, we'll call my second favorite, social media. A lot of real estate agents, investors are not using social media to its ability when it comes to generating leads. That is creating helpful content for those sellers that you wanna connect with. So if you're an agent and you specialize in downtown condos, you should be making a lot of content around that area. What's happening downtown? What's going on locally? What restaurants? What new things are coming up? What new buildings are coming up? Become a resource for people that are in that area or want to be in that area. Doing local travel guides, like showing people where all the kind of attractions are, what they can see, what the views are. Teaching people what they should look for when they're buying in that area. Teaching people how they can get the most money when they're selling in that area. You want to put out a lot of content on social to actually start getting questions, to get conversations, to get that flow. And if you're just starting out, pay for advertising. Get that content in front of people, right? Don't just wait for it to accumulate. Put up the great content, pay, get it in front of that targeted area and it's gonna help you speed that up a lot. We did that a lot in the beginning and it helped a ton. We had a lot of people come through mentioning they saw our videos, they saw our social media, they've been following us for a while, they found our content really helpful and that was really, really cool to see. You can also use social media to run direct lead gen ads. If you're really looking for seller leads, come up with a strong value proposition of why someone should work with you over someone else and you can run Facebook ads, TikTok ads, 
a whole bunch of social media ads directly to your consumer where they can literally see you, hear your value proposition, click on an ad and come through as a lead. I found that very effective because you can test all kinds of messages, creatives, copy, and really quickly figure out what works in your market. It's a really cool tool and you can't do that with radio. You can't do that with print. It's much harder to test. So social media was a part in that thousand leads. Now, the biggest part, it's actually a two part approach here, but the biggest part in how we generate almost a thousand seller leads for our real estate business and how you can do it and need to look into is Google. Google is pretty much where every single person that's gonna sell their house starts their search, okay? They're opening their computer, they're going, I gotta sell my house. What are, sales, what are houses selling for in my area? What houses have recently sold? What did my neighbor just sell for? One way or another, they're ending up on Google. And so there's two things you can do as an agent or investor to get in front of those people. And these are your hot seller leads. They're people that are thinking about it, they're ready to go. You have ads and you have SEO. Okay. Both have played a very large part in getting the leads that we generated last year. And most agents and investors are not doing these well. Let's start with SEO. You need to come up top of search when anyone at all types in sell my house in name of your city that you specialize in. If you don't come up on the first page when that happens, you're missing all that traffic. No sellers are scrolling through Google trying to find agents on page four. You got to come up right away. And the best way to do that, come up with a branded website that speaks directly to your niche, okay? So for example, we were buying homes in Simcoe County. You can actually look up our business if you'd like. It's, it's public, you can look at it, you can check out the website. It's simcohousebuyers.ca. So it's very clear what we do. We've made a custom branded page. If you're an agent, you can do the same thing. Come up with a good brand, a good tagline that's relevant to the sellers you're looking for. We did simcohousebuyers.ca. Anyone searches sell my house in Simcoe County or buy my house in Simcoe County or need to sell house in Simcoe, we come up pretty much first page every single time because we've mastered SEO. There are tools you can do this. One of my favorite website builders for real estate agents and investors is called Carrot, carrot.com. It automates a lot of the SEO for you. It creates all your content automatically. It ranks very high, very quickly. They figured out the game of SEO and you can definitely piggyback onto that. So having a custom branded website that is optimized heavily for SEO to rank in a specific search term is huge. The second thing and the most powerful by far, still Google, but it was the Google ads. So the first part, cause I said Google is the biggest thing. It's how we got all our leads. The first part was organic. It's rank on SEO. The second part is paying for ads. There are a lot of other search terms that you're not going to rank for that are still important because let's face it, when it comes to SEO, you can only rank for a certain number of things. You're not going to rank for everything. There are other categories and I'm not going to give it all away. I can't give away the full secret sauce. If you want, you can book a call with us and I'll walk you through it. But when someone is selling their house, there were a lot of reasons that could make them do that. They can be downsizing, they can be upsizing, they can be going through divorce, they can be having financial trouble, they can be having, um, maybe they're moving because they just changed jobs or going across country, right? There's a lot of reasons someone can sell a house and they don't always start their search with, I need to sell my house. They might start with, let's say that they've got a new job, how to relocate to Alberta. They live here right now. Well, when someone searches that, you might want to come up because even though they're not searching for that, they're going to go, oh yeah. I got to sell my house. I forgot about that part. This just popped up. Let me check that out. Who is that? Who is that agent? Who is that investor? And you want to come up with these searches. If someone's getting a divorce and they're searching for a divorce lawyer, good chance at some point they're going to be selling their house. You should probably come up in that search as well. It sounds predatory, but it's not at all. They're going to need a service and you want to come up as the first person, even if they're not searching for that part yet, you know, they're going to get there. So really understanding your sellers, understand their behaviors, their psychology, and using Google paid ads to fill the gaps. So you can come up on every search term that's not directly related to selling. Use your SEO to come up to your direct search. So someone's like, yeah, I need to sell my house. Great. You're going to come up organically, but everything else you're going to pay to get on top of. So that is how we generated almost a thousand seller leads last year for our simplehousebuyers.ca house buying website. It's the same concept with agents. We've done this with different brokers and teams. Google ads and SEO are definitely king. If you don't know how to use them, learn. If you don't have time because you're a busy agent or investor, you're going to want to talk to someone like us. So reach out www.suitsocial.com. You can book a free strategy call with our team anytime. We can explain a lot more about this and show you how it applies in your business. If you have any questions, don't forget to drop a comment below. Subscribe to the channel. We drop new videos every single Friday. I will see you on the next one.